Hey, what's going on? Luke here, and this is a video that I, I really didn't want to be doing, to be honest with you. Um, I've done plenty of videos in the past over the last couple of years talking about the possibility of a Rugby League Live 5 coming out this year in a couple of months or something like that. But instead, I'm here to do a video talking about the new Rugby League game coming out in 2025. Um, yeah, no, it's not ideal. It's obviously not ideal. Um, I've sat here and I've defended the NRL in some, in some ways, and other parts have been quiet. I've gone in on them quite a bit, but in other parts I've been like, oh, well, they've got a new side in the Dolphins. You know, COVID's been there. Obviously, there's a few things that are probably thrown a spinner in the works. But at this point, it's like 2025. Like, you've got to be kidding me. Like, let, let's be real. Let's be real. Handball. I'm not talking about like the little four squares that you play at school. I'm talking about the official game handball that you're probably like, I have no idea what that is. They have a more recent game than Rugby League. This came out in like 2021. As is 2017. 2017. And also, like, you got the World Cup edition, a little upgrade there. But, like, it's ridiculous the fact that we have a brand like the NRL, a, a sport like the rugby, like rugby League, and in terms of the NRL, in terms of being, like, the big dogs of Rugby League, it's ridiculous that the most recent game is 2017. And I know Rugby League Legends came out, and I absolutely love Rugby League Legends. Um, it's a great game. It's a great little arcade sort of game. But in terms of a simulation sort of game, when you want to go on, you want to play a game like FIFA, you want to play a game like NBA 2K, you want to play a game like Rugby League Live 5. No, no, you can't. You can't, at least for another couple of years, apparently. Um, that's what's been reported. I've had things sent to me on Twitter by Daniel. Thank you uh, so much for that. Also, Travis, me bro, Travis, uh, sent me it as well. And it's, it's been sort of shared amongst Facebook communities and that sort of stuff. Um, so it's been around for a little while, but I was hoping it wasn't the case. But it seems to be the case. 2025 seems to be the year that they want to bring out a new game. And it's, uh, look, as a person who's predominantly a rugby league live YouTube channel, so so like destroying for uh, just for the morale. Um, you got cricket coming out every year essentially. Like I said, handball even has a, a most recent game. Tennis comes out every year. Games that are like hard to produce in terms of taking the game and making a video game out of it. AFL is another one that is super hard. But AFL seems to come out every couple of years and they've got a new game. And, uh, you know, all the talk of like, is it AFL or is it NRL in terms of the big dogs in Australian sport? And uh, I don't know. I just, I don't know if like the video game represents it well, but I mean, it sort of, it certainly sort of says something. The fact that AFL has the game coming in year in, year out. You got cricket as well. And then rugby league is just... Oh, well, enjoy this game from 2017. If you want to update it yourself, you can if you want, if the fan hub wants to work. Like, uh, you know, it's up to you guys. But, uh, you know, the game itself, been out for quite some time. And even then, like, you don't play a game, and it's so so lackluster. It's so hit and miss. Some, sometimes I play the game, and I think, wow, this is fantastic. Other times I play it, and I think it's the worst game of all time. It's kind of just how Rugby League Life 4 is. Um... Plenty of people have gone back and played Rebel League Live 3. I'm not one of them. I'm someone who's like gone back and played a couple games and I just, I go, oh, it's, it's not as good as Rebel League Live 4 in hindsight. Like, you know, in terms of playing it right now, going back, it's, it's just not quite as good. But, um, it's a fact that 2025, 2025, man, I was doing videos on this in like 2022, I'm pretty sure. Maybe even 2021. Just not doing facial scans and all that sort of stuff. Like these facial scans, like these guys... Like, the facial scans are going to be so outdated, man. Like, they're going to have, like, completely different hairstyles. It's like, why are you doing facial scans? Players were posting about this. This was a thing that was for sure happening. Like, there's proof of this happening. And now we're here in 2023, after the 2023 season. So it's not even, like, early 2023. The season's over. Like, we're going into 2024. And you're like, hey, no, 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 no. Not 2024, guys. 2025. It's like... Come on. Anyways, I'm intrigued to see your uh, your, your thoughts and opinions of this because I've did videos and might have even been back in 2021, but I've definitely been sort of one to break the news in terms of the new Rugby League games. But uh, hey, I've been breaking the news, but no Rugby League games have been coming out. Rugby League Legends, if you want to go and play a brand new one that's like arcade like go and do that. I think it's on Xbox, it's on Steam, all that sort of stuff. Um, definitely a good game to play. But uh, in terms of like a, uh, like a, a simulation sort of game, 2025 apparently is where it's at, and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully my channel takes off in 2025. That'd be absolutely fantastic. We've been playing games since 2017. Give us some, man. Throw us a bone, NRL. Um, it kind of just shows you exactly what a lot of the problem of people's are with uh, with the NRL in general. I say rugby league, but it's the NRL. 
Um, you can license it out. You can go and promote it. You can, you can come up with something. Look at uh, FIFA, EFC, NBA, all that sort of stuff. Look at how many people play NBA and have started watching the NBA purely because they play the video game. Look what the NRL could do. Honestly, the NRL could do that. They could have people from all parts of the world. We've seen Speed, I think, do videos in terms of the cricket game, um, playing as like India and that sort of stuff. Like, there's so many, so many things you could do with like a brand new video game, especially in this day and age of social media. You've got TikTok, you've got YouTube, um, Twitch, Buddy Kick, all the all the different platforms. And it's like, why are you not producing a video game? I don't care what it costs, even if you lose money on it. I think the benefits outweigh the. Uh, I think the pros outweigh the cons, honestly. That, like that, that's my opinion of it, and I know I'm biased because I'm a I'm a rugby league live YouTuber. But at the same time, exactly what I said. Like imagine like a guy like Speed going and playing rugby league live five. Imagine, the, especially they're going to America. They're trying to they're trying to take the game to other countries, but they kind of they do want to do it, but they don't want to do it. Does that make sense? Like on one hand, they want to take it to America. And and they want to they want to take it to Las Vegas and say hey here's the NRL here's our product but it's like all right well um where's your video game oh yeah go go and buy it. you actually can't even buy it um if you want to go on eBay and, and and maybe buy it from 2017 um none of the players you're seeing right now are going to be playing but if you want to go on you can download them possibly if it actually wants to work but like you can go on and download it if you want. Like, that sounds ridiculous, but that's exactly what the NRL does. And that's why the NRL will always be behind the AFL, will always be behind all the other sports. And for such a great sport, like, we're all people who watch rugby league and we think, what a great game. Everything about this. I mean, look at the grand final. You say, what an entertaining product. Um, how do people not watch this? But then you see how poorly it's run. And it's like, they're trying to find a licensee. Like, it's not even definitely going to be out in 2025. Like, at this point, it, they're trying to find a licensee. They're not trying to find someone who's going to make the game. Like, they're trying, some, trying to find some... Like, they're trying to find someone who might take it on board. Before, we were seeing it, and it was like, oh, it's out next year, all that sort of stuff. But now, it's straight up like, 2025, we might see a game. And it's just like, come on. You, you can't have a sport this big, this popular in Australia and not have a video game. This is absolutely ridiculous. And in previous years, I would have sat here and said, oh, well, you know, the Dolphins coming in. Like, there's some sort of reason for it happening. But at this point, I am, I'm mad. I'm actually mad, and I'm sure you guys are too. Because it's like, I, I've also sat here and done videos where I'm like, the game's going to be coming out next year, surely. And you guys are like, ooh, I, I don't know about next year. We'll, we'll see if it happens. And I'm like, nah, surely. And then all of a sudden, nah, nah, the game doesn't come out. The game, it's just, I don't know. Is it going to be Rugby League Live 5? Is it going to be Rugby League 2025? Is it going to be Rugby League 2030 by the time it comes out? Absolutely ridiculous. Anyways, I'm going to keep this nice and short. I've said everything I need to say. I uh, hopefully you did enjoy this one, despite the topic. But if you did happen to enjoy this one, and you saw this one, and you got this far through the video, make sure you go ahead and leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. I think we're at like, what, 15 and a half, something like that. Um, if you can subscribe, leave a like, all that sort of stuff, be very much appreciated. Also, go and check out my EAFC channel. Seeing it on the screen right now. I've been uploading some EAFC, Aston Villa career mode, trying to take them to the Champions League, maybe win a title. Uh, what's more likely, me to win a title with Aston Villa or Rugby League Live 5 to come out? Um, I, I think I know which one the answer is to that. But yeah, go ahead and chuck me a follow on that. And in terms of leaving a follow, go ahead and chuck me a follow on social media, seeing it on the screen right now. It's Miss Luke on YT. Go ahead, give me a follow, give me an ad, especially on Instagram, try and get the Insta followers up. And also a special mention to the members as well, uh, and also the Super Chat is there, but uh, especially the members, shout out to all of you guys who have stuck solid with me, especially in the off season as well. Uh, but all means, you know, the off season's there, not that much to upload, it's not like I'm uploading videos every day, but uh, at this point, shout out to you guys, thank you so much. And also the Super Chatters as well, thank you so much as well for coming onto the streams, uh, leaving little donations, um, it does mean a lot. Anyways guys, uh, I'm going to finish things here. I mean, not the ideal situation to be making a video, not the ideal topic, but it is what it is. And uh, look, you got through this, this far through the video, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. See you.